Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primitive's Best. Good morning to you. We are at the nursing home where my mother-in-law is at for the time being. I think she's fixing to get moved or we're going to move her to a different location. Not that there's anything wrong with this nursing home. We really like it here. But my mother-in-law, as I've said, it's kind of an update. My mother-in-law, if you're new to the channel, she's uh, she's 94. She's a veteran from the Korean War, and uh, she's had a massive stroke. Been in very good health her whole life. I can't believe she wouldn't on any medication, nothing. No cholesterol medication, nothing. Better shape than I'm in, for sure. But uh, anyway, today I'm talking for just a moment. Uh, <laughs> I, guess, uh, I guess you'd call it venting, venting. I'm just talking about the frustrations today of being on Facebook Marketplace trying to sell something. Okay, remember, I bought this 2003 Chevy Cat Eye truck. And we're gonna, I'm going to have y'all put a name to it very soon. As soon as things kind of calm down with my mother-in-law and all this other stuff. It had these wheels and tires on it. When I bought the truck, you can look back on the earlier videos. They're weld wheels. They are 275 45 20s. And I've told everything on Facebook Marketplace. I, I, you can do little videos now, less than a minute, on Facebook Marketplace, which I did. I've took them off face. I've took them, took, let me start again. I haven't had enough coffee. I have taken these wheels off Facebook Marketplace because I'm tired of fooling with it. I pointed out this. I pointed out it's got a few places here where the chrome is flaking off. It comes with the complete set of chrome lug nuts. You know, fancy ones for these wheels are six lug, of course. They came off this 2003 Chevy truck. Comes with all the lug nuts and everything. The tires are pretty decent. You know, all of them, they're all the same size. Had to, let me tell you some of the things I've been asked on Facebook Marketplace. Number one, top priority, number one. Are these wheels still for sale? Are they still available? Yes, they're still available. I mean, that's what you stuck them up there for. As soon as you, as soon as you sell an item, you take it off, right? Anyway, I've had dozens and dozens of those questions then i've had some you know i i had it kind of like listed where i say what i i think i had them priced for six hundred dollars including the lug nuts and and i said you know the the tires are lasted you know a while longer i mean they're not new but they're not bad either you know i said they'll last you another year or so i guess depends on depends on how much you drive so, I've had people, you know, ask me about the tire sizes and stuff, even though I have included it in the video and in the description. I still get asked those questions. Then I get, you know, I have it, uh, the listing I had was uh, $600 or best offer or trade for Chevy C10 square body parts. Well, you know, I... I had somebody say, would you take 400 for them? <laughs> no, I won't. I mean, the lug nuts are probably 50 or 60 bucks. If you haven't bought lug nuts lately, might be more than that. So, no, I'm not going to take 400. I don't have to sell them. It's just I don't have any room at my house. It's not that I have to sell them. I got these here. Chevy LTZ wheels, 275, 55, 20s. I like these much better, but uh, myself, I'm kind of into those. Ever since I had that 2007 Chevy truck, Silverado truck coffee that, that Rob Pitts on YouTube bought. But uh, I don't know, people, uh, uh, they ask, uh, it's like, and I'm just venting, please excuse me, but uh, I told my wife, I said, just take it off Marketplace. It's just, 
oh my goodness you know what you know I'll be there tomorrow you know or can I come this afternoon you know all this other stuff you know the, the answer is yeah and uh you know it's just crickets you never hear nothing else it, it's I, I don't know why I was talking to GM 1038 about it and he said he thinks people just like to talk you know just like to get you going or something I can't figure it out these wheels are dirty they will they the wheels will clean up really nice they're not they don't really look bad there's some grass I guess from mowing but uh they're not bad looking wheels my wife actually likes the, likes these better than what we have on the truck but I like these and anyway have y'all ever had that problem with Facebook Marketplace? I mean, just some of the dumbest questions. I mean, and I know people, I, I don't mind answering questions. I truly don't. It's just, you know, ask a legitimate question. If, if it's still on Marketplace, it's still for sale. Am I going to give the wheels away? No, I'll, I'll stack them up in the backyard somewhere if I can't find room for them or throw them in the back of another truck. And I mean, I don't have to sell them. But I don't have nothing else that these wheels will go on. And I thought, well, somebody else might could enjoy it. But beats me. If people, I don't know. In the comments, if you don't mind, let me know some of the questions. If you fool with Facebook Marketplace, let me know what some of the questions you've been asked that are kind of uh, kind of off the wall, i say. You know, kind of self-explanatory. I mean, I've went into detail. Pretty much, you know, self-explanatory. Set of wheels and tires, love nuts included. $600 or best offer or trade for some Chevy square body C10 parts. And uh, haven't had anybody offer me any kind of trades. Just ridiculously low offers. And uh, is it available? And I'll be there and nothing. You know, nothing. At least... Uh, don't say you're going to be somewhere and then you don't show. You know, it, you wait around for folks and they don't, you know, say, hey, I can't make it. Hey, hey, I've changed my mind. I found something better. It won't hurt my feelings. It would actually, I would actually respect you more, right? Had somebody asked me, is it as wide as my hand? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. It's. You know, then then I had somebody ask me, uh, I'm trying to remember all these questions. Will these fit on a Chevrolet truck? And I just got done saying, they come off a 2003 Chevrolet truck in the video and, you know, in the description. I can't figure it out. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Maybe I'm overreacting. I probably am. Like I said, we're back at the nursing home and I'm tired. My wife's tired. We're trying to get all this insurance and paperwork done and VA stuff done. And, uh, you know, and I'm sorry, guys. We're just tired. And I'm probably venting. And I'm, but it, it is kind of like a legitimate video. I mean, if you've had any dealings with Facebook Marketplace, you can kind of understand now why I don't post C10s or anything, you know, vehicles for sale. I did that. I did that once or twice. I, I had a, I know I've told y'all this before, but I had a 67 GMC truck. Six cylinder, automatic. Uh, had a shift kit in the transmission. That, that truck would giddy up. I mean, it, for a six cylinder, it was a good truck. Power steering, six cylinder truck. Uh, step side, short bed step side is a, is a pretty truck. I wish I'd never got rid of it, but I did. You know how I am. But I uh, stuck it on uh, Marketplace, and this guy from, oh, I think he was from Chattanooga, Tennessee. I live in East Tennessee. We talked back and forth, and I told him everything about that truck. I mean everything. There was no question about anything on the truck. I sent him pictures underneath, over the top, blah, 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 every little nut and bolt, you know. He said, I'm coming to look at it well he come by the house him and his wife he's an older gentleman i mean he wouldn't know young spring chicken and uh 
you know, I, I got the truck out of the garage. He looked at it. You know, it's, it's a nice little old truck. Had dual exhaust on it. Sounded good. And uh, he nitpicked that thing to death. Nitpicked it. I mean, just, I mean, it's patina style truck, guys. I mean, you know, it's, it's light blue, white top. I painted the top white. And it's, it's a good looking truck. Chrome grill, all that stuff. And he nitpicked that thing to this. The seat had been redone, reupholstered. Nice. I don't know why I got rid of it. I'm getting mad at myself. Anyway, that guy nitpicked that truck to death. He said, you didn't tell me this. You didn't tell me about this. I said, sir, I said, I told you everything. Yeah, I said, yes, I did. I said, I told you everything about this truck. I said, I pointed out every imperfection every little dent i'm trying to remember things and uh he crawled up under the truck and, i mean the more he talked me saying basically saying i didn't tell him stuff the matter i was getting and i shouldn't get that way like i said he's an older gentleman and his wife was an older lady and he was crawling up under the truck looking at it and uh his wife grabbed me by the arm and she took me aside she said mr jimmy she said i'm so sorry that my husband's talking to you this way and treating you this way she said she said we've looked at a lot of 67 through 72 trucks and she said this is the nicest one we've seen and she said i don't know why he's being this way i said ma'am i said it's okay i said it's just part of facebook marketplace i said i don't mind somebody talking to me but you know it's my truck you don't have to down it I, especially after i'm not trying to mislead anybody on anything but uh anyway he kept on there for another minute or two and i said sir i said you know what i said the truck's not for sale i said i'm just going to keep it this truck is not for you i said i would suggest you go back to your home and start looking some more i said i hope that you find the one that you're looking for i said but this truck's not for sale i'll just keep it i said it's a good truck i've told you everything about it starts right up runs and drives great and, uh, you know, he had that astonished look on his face. I guess he thought I was going to give him the keys and just tell him to take it. You know, there's too much wrong with it. But there was nothing wrong with it. If you like patina style, I mean, there wouldn't, it wouldn't rust it out. It is a solid truck. Anyway, his, his jaw kind of dropped and, you know, I showed him where the driveway was at. And I said, there you go. I'll see you in another day, whatever. They left. Anyway, I wound up selling the truck. It wasn't hard to sell. But, uh, I'm sorry I got started on that. But Facebook Marketplace, that's that's why I don't sell any vehicles or anything on Facebook Marketplace. It's too much trouble. There's too many gripers out there that's, want it, you know, it's a 67 GMC. It's not a brand new truck. Anyway, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, guys. You're watching Primer is best. I'm gonna hush. I'm gonna I'll probably wind up keeping these wheels. They're not eating nothing. I don't have to sell them. It's not like I need money, you know, for to, to buy groceries or anything. You know, I hope it never comes to that. But as of right now, my wife and I are blessed and we're good. I hope that y'all will subscribe to the channel. Primer is best. I'm also on Instagram, Primer is best. Facebook Primitive's Best. Got a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. That is me. And I'm on Instagram. Uh, yeah, Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. Be sure to check me out. And uh, I'm sorry if I... It's a little bit unusual video, but... Whew, man, tell you what. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. God bless each and every one of y'all. I sure do appreciate it. Thanks again for the prayers. Like I said, we're back at the nursing home. Thanks for the prayers, the offers for help all the stuff that y'all have done for us i'm so blessed and happy to have y'all as my family if you've had instances on facebook marketplace like that let me know just leave them tell me what they <laughs> tell me what some of these folks have asked you it's it is really ridiculous anyway god bless y'all catch y'all in the next one i'll see y'all later